I am so excited to share this video with you today and all my beginner's tips on using a potter's wheel. I create and craft a lot with clay, mainly air dry clay, but today I have some stoneware and we're going to make a mug on this potter's wheel. Here I am at this pottery studio in Lancashire and I know it's going to be such a fun day. I am pounding and smoothing the clay, ready for it to go on the wheel. You can also wedge the clay first if you need to. Once you have a neat ball, slam the clay down in the centre of your wheel to make sure it sticks and give it two hard slaps on the top. Wet your hands slightly, then take both hands and put them around the clay just like this. Press the pedal with your foot to start the wheel and we want to make the wheel go on a medium speed. I'll let you into a little secret here too. This is actually my first go on a potter's wheel and I know it's hard to believe because I do a lot of work with clay but I always just hand build my clay. So I thought this would be a really valuable experience to show the, the pleasures and the pitfalls of trying yourself because we always watch the pros and they make it look super easy. So let's see how I get on today. And that way I can share all my tips with you. The first thing you do with any project is to cone the clay and so we draw it upwards. So you can see I'm just applying pressure and pulling my hands up. The coning up centres the clay. I really should have had my thumbs over the top there to get a smooth top so remember to have put your thumbs over. We're now going to use both hands to push the clay back down. I have my thumb hooked over the top and my right hand pushing it down and the left hand trying to keep nice and steady. When working on a pottery wheel you want to tuck yourself into the wheel as much as you can and really get in there and stabilise your hands. So get right into the wheel nice up close and stabilise yourself and your elbows onto the tops of your thighs. And lean in and you can look at your project from above. At this point I was really trying to get a feel for the clay and trying to think to myself, control the clay, don't let the clay control you. So trying to keep your elbows in and as still as possible I found was really helping here and get in there and feel the clay. But really try and relax and enjoy because it really is therapeutic. You're here to have fun and see what you can create. We had a demonstration before this so I'm trying to remember the steps as we go but I'm just getting a really nice feel for the clay and I love the feel of it on your hands and it's wonderful, it really is. Now that I have a thick, fairly centred disc it's time to give it some form and some shape. We now need to make a hole in the centre of the clay so we can cup the clay with our left hand and gently place a thumb or two thumbs in the center, making a nice little well there. Push your thumb down and leave a half an inch at the bottom. You can check this with a needle to make sure it's not too deep. Brace your pot with one palm and place two fingers in the pot and we're going to pull upwards. My right thumb is on the outside of the pot and I'm gently pinching with my two fingers and my thumb and pulling it upwards. And you can see it's starting to take some sort of shape. When you take your hands off the clay, try not to let go fast, you want to let go nice and slowly. Hold the position for a while and then release your hands. If you need to slow down the wheel, then you can do. This is going to be a mug so I just want to bring the clay in slightly so I'm just going to put my palms around the clay and put gentle pressure on the outside and you can see it start to contract and go a little smaller and it's really satisfying to have a go and see, how, see what happens when you do all these different things to the clay. So don't be afraid of it because you can always start again. I'm going back to cupping the clay with one hand and pinching it with my thumb and fingers and pulling it up to try and get a little bit more height on the mug. 
you can see there it started to wobble a bit so I'm just putting my hands around it and trying to centre it back again. I think rather than panicking that something's happening that you don't want it to, just see how can you naturally try and fix it. At this point I'm just really happy I'm getting some sort of shape and it, I'm not looking for perfection and it's really fun and I'm really enjoying myself. It's ideal to work here at about 2 or 3 o'clock. Ideally you want to have your clay spinning away from your fingertips. Even though I felt it was more natural to have my hands closer to me like I did to begin with but as I say you can just get the feel for the clay feel what works for you and try and follow the instructions as best we can from our instructors when we do go to the pottery studios. So watch lots of videos and watch the pros as they create their amazing creations but the most important thing is, is go and have a go and feel it yourself and see what happens. This clay is stoneware and it contains grog. Grog is the tiny bits of rock that help form the clay. A clay containing grog makes it more controllable for a beginner and it's easier to handle without the clay actually being so fragile. Once I've finished my pottery mug it will be dried and then it will go in the kiln to be fired and then it will be glazed and then fired once more. So it's quite different from your air dry clay but it means that it it becomes food safe. Anything that you fire in the kiln will become food safe. It's starting to take shape really nicely and if there's any water on the inside you just need to take your sponge and sponge it out and here I'm just smoothing it out with the sponge and letting it run up the inside to give a nice smoother finish. Next I actually took my fingers to the top, I put one finger straight across the top and pinched the lip with the other and that made a little bit of a better rim at the top. I then took my sponge and tried to smooth down the outside and then I just spent a little bit more time having a play. then took this metal tool and formed a bit of a base. You can use a metal or a wooden tool for this, of any shape of your choice. For my first attempt I'm absolutely thrilled with how it's turned out. I brought my dad along with me today and he did get in a little bit more of a mess than I did and he actually had to fold the clay down and start again three times so really don't worry if that happens because he actually came away with something he made a mug too it just took a little bit more practice as maybe my crafty hands do help a little bit that I have done a lot of clay work before but he had a lot of fun and really did enjoy himself and I'm sure we'll come back again I then formed a handle and attached this to my little creation with the score and slip approach like I do in lots of my air dry clay projects. And it really was a fun day out. We're now going to leave these at the studio and they're going to be fired and glazed ready for us to pick up. So three weeks later we're coming back to the pottery studio and we're going to see if we collect a pile of bits or we actually can collect our mugs. We're feeling a bit nervous as to how they actually turned out so let's see but we are feeling very very hopeful so here I am back at the potter studio and let's see. They've bagged them all up for us and here I have them here for us to unwrap and it's feeling very hopeful for both me and my dad. So I went with a red glaze that they did for me and it's amazing! I'm going to be able to use that for my cup of coffee and I'm absolutely thrilled that I have something and this is my first go on a potter's wheel and it's been a success. So I do hope 
you give it a go and you go and just enjoy yourself, relax and appreciate that it might take time but practice, practice, practice and enjoy yourself. There's lots of air dry clay projects I have over here so please do come and have a look. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.